Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video in our high level workflow series where we're walking you through how to set up all your workflows in high level. Set up your triggers, your actions, everything you need to start setting up some really cool automations so that you can start to automate the things that you're doing manually right now and get things done a lot quicker and more efficiently. Today we're going to be going over forms and surveys. This is a trigger that you're going to be using a lot in high level. So whether you're setting up opt-in forms or applications or surveys and quizzes, this is gonna be the video that you need to come and refer to later on. So get ready, because we're about to dig into forms and surveys, enjoy. All right, welcome back to our workflow series where we're walking you through how to set up triggers, how to set up actions so that you can automate a lot of the manual stuff you're doing right now to make your lives a lot easier and do things a lot faster and more efficiently. So today we're gonna to be walking through the form and survey triggers inside of workflows. So let's jump into it. So the first thing that you would do when you are working with form and survey workflows is to create your actual form and surveys. So if you are looking at the new menu, which is the view that we have here, we can go to sites and then you have the form and the survey builder up here at the top. Now, if you're looking at the old menu, there's a little marketing drop down menu item that you can click to expand. And then underneath there, you can find the form and the survey builder. So build your forms or your surveys. And then once you have those created, we're going to head back over to our workflow area. So in the new menu item, it's going to be automation. In the old menu item, it's going to say workflows towards the top. Now, again, we have our workflows set up in folders and we do we structure them in the way that the marketing and sales process happens. So I'm not going to worry about messing around with that. I just want to show you the actual how to set up the trigger. So if we click on create workflow here and we click start from scratch and then we click the workflow button again, then that's gonna take us to the builder. Now, to add our trigger, again, we just click this top button here that says add new workflow trigger, and then we we'll give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this ABC form submission. And then this is gonna be a CRM trigger type. And then we can come in here and we can search for the trigger that we want to add. So I'm gonna type in form, We'll click in form submitted and then we'll start adding our filters. The way this is set up right now, if we left it like this, then this particular workflow is going to trigger anytime someone, a contact, a visitor submits any form in high level. So we don't want that to necessarily happen or maybe you do, but for this particular use case, we want to narrow it down a little bit more and tell the system exactly which form that we want to trigger this particular workflow. So to do that, we would add a filter and then we could click the drop down here and we'd select the form is, and then we could select the name of the form. Okay. So this is going to only trigger when this particular form is submitted. And if we want to narrow that down even more and make the trigger even more specific, we can continue to add filters. So we have the ability to come in here and I actually do have custom fields in this particular account. So we can select the custom field. I don't have any uh, ones that are multiple choice or drop down. Those are typically the ones that you would choose as a filter because you can select, you know, which choice they selected to narrow down the actual trigger a little bit more. So we're not gonna actually use another filter. We're just gonna click delete and then we're going to save that particular trigger. Okay, so now you have the trigger set. Now you can start to build the actions that you want to happen as a result of that trigger. And again, when we're building these workflows, we can add multiple triggers to any workflow. So for this one, let's do, let's add another new workflow trigger. We're gonna call this ABC survey submission all right and again this is going to be a crm workflow trigger type and then we're going to choose the workflow trigger so i'm going to come in here and i'm going to search for survey and again if we left it like this the workflow is going to be triggered anytime anybody submits any survey okay so we want to narrow that down for working with these workflows, we typically want to narrow it down a little bit more. So we're going to select the survey is, and then we'll select the survey that we want to trigger the workflow. And then again, you can add additional filters. So if we click add filters, 
You can come in here. Disqualified is one of the main filters here. So if we click on disqualify, when you're doing a survey, you can have different questions in that survey. And then if they answer one of those questions a certain way, you can disqualify them. So um, if we were doing that in this particular workflow, we could choose disqualified as a filter. And then we would choose either is false or is true. If we chose is false, that means they are not disqualified. And if we chose disqualified is true, that means that they are disqualified. So if we only wanted to, to for this workflow to trigger, if someone was disqualified, this is how we would set that up. And then again, you can continue to add additional filters on top of that, layer those on top of that to make these workflows even more uh, specific. So I'm gonna not do anything. I'm gonna delete that. We're gonna save this trigger. And basically this is going to, I'm gonna get rid of this disqualified is true. So then we're going to save this trigger. And now if we look at this workflow, if we publish this, this workflow would trigger anytime someone submits this form or they submit this survey. And then we can start building our actions off of that. So let's just give it some depth here. So you actually know what we're doing. So let's say we wanted to add a tag, so a contact tag, and then we would give that contact tag a name. So I'm going to do just say submission, but be very specific with these names. So you know exactly what they do and anybody can come in here and kind of go through the workflow and understand what it does. So you, then you'd select your tag. You could add additional tags here and then save action. So basically if we added that, then anytime that form was submitted or anytime that survey was submitted, the action would be that they add a tag is added to that contact record. So that is form and survey triggers. Stick around and, and watch the rest of the workflow series. We're going to be talking about all the triggers. We're going to be talking about all the actions. So this is going to be an in-depth library for you to come to and really start to understand how to use these workflows. Probably after you watch a few of the videos, you start you start to understand how these workflows work, and then you just play around with them, and you can get really good at creating automations with these workflows. And, and it's one of my favorite parts of high level. Uh, so have fun, start building these workflows and uh, you're going to be really happy that you did. So if you got some value out of this video, maybe make sure and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and be sure to look at the descriptions to find the li link to the playlist and any other resources that we talked about in this video. And we'll see you on the next video.